si fam wa ye moye e do su raje
the song, the spirit of the song is, is moving in your marrow, in your veins, in your blood. God is amazing. He is amazing God. You can't understand how amazing he does in people's life, in our spirit. I don't know what God created inside human beings that respond to music. Can you believe that? And she ran come. Yeah, Telling you to rejoice, just be joyful of yourself. Be happy, be happy. Forget about what happened yesterday. I'm just preparing your mind so that you can all pray, right? Forget about what happened yesterday, previous day, last week, last month, last year. Those days are past and gone. Those days are past and gone. We don't have those days anymore. We have, we have today. today. God, God has given you today. It's a blessing. God has given you today. Right? Yes. God has given you today. So just rejoice in it. He's amazing God. He's amazing God. It says that, arise, 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 physically arise, spiritually arise, emotionally arise, psychologically arise, in every area of your life arise, in every circumstance arise, do not let anything put you down, arise. Psalm 60, the first way. Say, arise. 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 Don't become like so timid. I'm not talking to Akosia. I'm talking to all of us. Hallelujah. So down. Don't be so down during the day when you wake up. Just because. Things are not going well for you. I don't know what things that is not going well for you. But do you know or have you thought that uh, it's not only you that is going through that kind of challenge or problem? You are not the only person that is facing that kind of problem. Do you know that? Hmm. If you have not gone to somebody's house, you think that you will be the only one that has a particular problem. The same thing you are going through. We have, we have hundreds, hundreds of people, of people going, going through the through same, same thing. thing. Do you know, you know that? that? <laughs> you think you that, think that uh, your, your boss is treating you very bad, bad or a co-worker is harassing you or troubling you at a job. job? And that and is the reason why you want to quit that, that job? job? <laughs> and you and think, you think uh, your, your husband is doing so much? And 
you can't you can stand, stand it. it. Your wife, Your wife is doing, doing so, so much, much, so you can't stand it. You don't know. You just go for another woman and you will see. You just go for another man and you will see. My sister, my brother. There is no space that there is nothing there. Every space occupies something. Every space occupies something. Do you know that? Ah, hallelujah. hallelujah. So, so let, let your spirit, your spirit arise. arise. Let, let your, your spirit, spirit arise, arise, sister. Arise, arise, arise. arise. Tonight, Tonight, arise. arise. You, see, you see, if you, if you want, want to follow, follow what is going on in this world, world you will be behind in everything. Because what the world wants you to know is different from what God wants you to know. What the world wants you to believe is different from what the world wants you to believe. But remember, the world and all that belongs to this world is passing away very soon. This world and everything in it is passing away very soon. But the word of God remains forever. The word of God remains forever. You die, and then somebody will give birth, and the word of death, the word of God will be the same. The word of God will still remain the truth over every book, every story, every thing. The word of God will still remain the truth. Infallible lately. On a the And that is why you have to put your trust and your confidence and everything in the Lord. Just the Lord. Just in the Lord. Just in the Lord. I know sometimes it's not easy just to trust the Lord. It's not easy. It's easy, it's easy, but, but some, to some people, people it's not easy. easy. Because of what, what you are going through, the challenges, the challenges that you are facing in life. life. I know. But with God, all things are possible. With God, all things are possible. <laughs> I'm not talking about all things are possible like this woman is talking about. Everyone is there. <laughs> Maybe you haven't heard it, right? Somebody was in Shira FM in Kumasi or somewhere. Say she's a prophetess. She said that we should allow her to go and see Ebony's parents so that uh, they will lead her to go to the mortuary. Because God has told the Ebony is not going Oh God. Africa. Ghana. <laughs> But that's, that's not, not what I'm what talking I'm about. about. God, God is, is able, able in, in everything. everything. In, in everything, I say God, God is able. Is so maybe. maybe. <laughs> so your situation is, is repairable. Your situation is repairable. Go away. One more audio. If you are on audio, you can come to video. I'm on video. God richly really bless you. you. So, so uh, what, what I'm saying to you from the book of uh, Isaiah chapter 6. Today I don't want to scream, I just want to go gentle, right? Mm -hmm. Isaiah chapter 6. This computer is not helping me to connect the prayer line. I don't know. This technology stuff sometimes we are doing some people are behind the gate, they want to come to prayer and the computer and the internet is Okay, let me leave you. Julian Dawson, God richly bless you. How many players do I have? Is it the same one? Julian Dawson, I have Julian Dawson. I have Julius Bempa. And I have Julian Tufo. Oh, today they are going with the Julian. 
Wonderful. Yes, let's go. God bless you all. Okay. So arise and shine. Arise and shine. You see, don't sit down for your marriage to collapse. Okay. You can make it shine. You can make your marriage shine. Don't sit down and go so dry. Poverty. You can get up and go and find a job. Arise and shine. Don't just sit inside all the time. Don't just always be indoors. Get up and go out. Get up and go out. When there is a program, go. When there is a funeral, go. When, when there is a naming ceremony, go. Maybe you need to meet a guy there. God is going to connect a guy from that place. I'm not saying it's always like that. God has a way of connecting them, right? But what I'm trying to say, tell you is that don't just keep yourself inside. I know some people like me, for instance, I don't like going out, going here, going there, like that. I am, uh, how are you? How are you? God bless you, brother. How are you? But what I'm trying to tell you is to get up and, uh, and shine. Arise and shine. Arise in prayer. Arise in prayer. Don't sleep too much. Don't sleep too much. Arise and pray. Arise and go to church. Don't make yourself or don't think that you are too wise. You are too wise. You are clever. You are wiser than every pastor. Today, that's what people think. A lot of people think that they are too wise than every pastor. I'm not saying pastors are too wise than everybody. No, that's not what I'm talking about. But some people, the way, because things are going on in this world, people think that. Oh, oh. Every, every pastor, pastor is like that. that. Every, every pastor, pastor is like that. It's not, it's not every pastor, pastor. It's not every, every, prophet. every prophet. I know there are bad ones, ones in there. So, so just, just get that, that mentality, mentality somewhere. somewhere. Just, just put that, that mentality, mentality somewhere. somewhere. Begin, Begin to uh, reset, reset your mind. Your mind. Okay? okay? And arise! 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 Because these days are evil days. days. We are, we are in evil, evil days. days. Anything, Anything happens. happens. Anything, Anything happens. happens. Arise, Arise in your, in your spirit. spirit. And, and then shine. shine. For your light, light has come. come. For your, your light, light has come. come. A lot of people, light has come, but they are sitting down and they don't know that is their light. That is shining somewhere. You got to take a step now. Begin to take a step. Begin to take a step. New step. New step of new thinking. Take a step of new thinking. That is what I'm trying to say. Take a step of new thinking. Do you understand what I'm saying, sister? I say take a step of new thinking. Take a step of new mindset. And have a radical belief of Jesus Christ or in Jesus Christ. Like, just trust Jesus like that. Just trust him like that. Just trust him. Have confidence. Hope. Everything in Jesus Christ. And I'm telling you, he's faithful. He's faithful. He's faithful. The Bible says that for your life has come. Your light has come. Sister, your light has come. Your breakthrough is near. Your breakthrough is near. Your salvation is here. Right here. Your salvation. Your salvation is here. So just give everything to Jesus Christ as the Lord. Just give everything to Jesus. Don't fight yourself. Don't fight yourself. Did you, Did you hear what, what I, I say? I said, I said don't, don't fight, fight yourself. yourself. It is it not is your fight. fight. If you if think you that is your fight, fight, well, then Jesus, Jesus has nothing to do with you. you. Or oh, he, he has, has nothing, nothing in it. it. He, has he has nothing, nothing in your, your 
the situation. That is what I'm trying to say. But, but you see, you see Jesus wants to have something to do with you. He, he wants to have something, something to do with you. you. And then, and then bless, bless you. you. And bless, bless you. you. And bless, bless you. you. Somebody, Somebody say, say amen. Hi, yeah. He's, He's amazing, amazing God. God. When we when trust him, he bless us. When we when trust him, he, he gives us peace. peace. Although you may not have like you want to have it, but you have your peace of mind. Your peace of mind. You will not stress yourself. You see, God wants you to come to a position or a place where you will not stress too much. Where you will not stress too much. Do you know do you know that uh, 80 percent of sick people that go to hospital do you know the root of their sickness the root of major sicknesses that we have is stress worry worry worry, worry yourself about your husband too much you worry yourself about your wife too much you worried yourself that you are single, you are not married. That is too much for you. You are not the only person who is not married. Mm. You worried yourself about money. I'm not saying money answers all things. That is the book of a Christian. But it, it's like you, you're making it too much. Money, money, too much. Money problem is becoming too much for you. And that is why... You, you are always getting sick. That's why you are always feeling the, the, that in your body. You don't know that is the reason, right? <laughs> Most of your problem of sickness is because of the worry you have created for yourself. The stress you have created for yourself. That is the, the reason why you are always having that pain somewhere in your body. See, that, that is the reason why you are having that pain somewhere, somewhere in your body. I believe that uh, God can do something about it. If you commit everything to God, He will give you peace, joy. You will not worry about anything again. You will give everything to God. Because He can handle it. Oh yes, he, Jesus, can handle it. And that is why I say, arise, arise the way you're thinking, arise in your thinking. Arise and change your thinking. Arise means it's like, it's like you are dozing, dozing, you're trying to sleep. You're trying to sleep, but the, 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 where you are, if you sleep, it's not good for you. Have you come to a point it happened to me before, so let me tell you what I'm talking about. When you are so tired and you are so sleepy and you are driving, you are driving, right? You're driving on a road and you feel so much sleep. And all of a, all of a sudden you're trying to sleep by still driving. Now, that is a dangerous, dangerous trap you are setting for yourself. You are, you are setting a dangerous, dangerous trap for, for yourself. yourself. You are driving and you are sleeping. It happened to me one time. Not one time, several times. And it's only God that saved me. It's only God. That is different from my, my accidents. That's not what caused me accident. But it has happened to me when I'm driving and very tired and sleepy and I'm sleeping in front of the pee. And all of a sudden, oh my God. Close your eyes and the, the, the car is going on. Oh. Arise means it's like that. You get to open your mind, your, your mind and your eyes quick to look before it's too late for you. Mm. You got to be alert. Be alert in your spirit. Arise. Let your spirit be alert. Awake. Yeah, yeah, awake. awake. From your sleep. sleep. That is what, what it means by arise. 
certain things are going on and because you are sleeping in spirit you can't see it let your spirit mind open the mind of, of your spirit be open when your mind the mind of your spirit is open i'm telling you those things that are challenging you they will begin to vanish you won't see it again you will see it again. May God open your eyes so that you will see very well. Hallelujah. The reason why you need to arise is because the Bible says your light has come. That is number one. That means your deliverance has come. Your deliverance. Your breakthrough. It is time for God to move you forward. But you are sleeping. In a spiritual realm, you are sleeping. So begin to arise. Awake. Be alert. Let your spirit wake you. Your light has come. And the glory of the Lord is rising upon you. The glory of the Lord is rising upon you. The glory of the Lord is rising upon you. You see, it is you, it's not anybody. It is you. If you want, if you decide I'm not going to let this happen, it's not going to happen. Between you and your wife, between you and your husband, if you decide, I am stopping it, it will not happen again, it will not happen again. Hallelujah. Maybe you don't understand what I'm talking about. But I'm saying that God has given me and you power, ability to handle every situation. Ability to handle every situation. Listen, he says that for that's verse number two, Isaiah chapter 16. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth. The darkness shall cover the earth. It shall cover the earth. Darkness. Which means problem will come in this world. It will continue to come in this world. Problems shall continue everywhere. Death will continue to happen. Earthquake will continue. The troubles and the challenges we are facing in this world will continue. It will continue and it will, it will extend to every part of the world, of this world. Darkness shall cover this world. First, in Africa, in my country, Ghana, there is nobody that was making tattoos like that. Maybe one, two, three, four. You can see people making tattoos in Africa, Ghana. As for my hometown, my village, I never see. Until the time I left there, when I was grown up, I never see anybody in my hometown with tattoos. But I'm sure by now, a lot of people have tattoos there. Darkness is still covering, it's covering, it's covering, it's covering, darkness. It's covering different places. Hey, in Ghana, you can't even kiss a girl outside. Can you kiss a girl outside? Before, I'm not talking about today. Of course, even the time that you, you are not all that grown up, but even your time. Did you see boys and girls kissing outside? You can see it. But today you can see it. You can see it back there. Oh yeah. <laughs> Darkness is covering. Darkness is covering. All that Isaiah is trying to tell us is that there are different situations and problems happening every day and every day and every day. So the way we used to live and we used to see things before in 10 years back, now we're not going to see it the same way so if you don't just rise up and let your your, your conscience 
Awake and Awake, sister, brother, you will kill yourself one day. You will kill yourself one day because it will be too much for you. Life will be too much for you in this world. It's like you can't handle situations. You can't handle any man. Any man. You can't handle any man. Or you can't handle any woman. I'm telling you. Today, every woman is different. Is thinking different. When it comes to marriage. Every man is thinking different. When it comes to marriage. When it comes to finance. Money. Money. Every man. Every person. Not only the marriage couples. Everyone is has a different opinion about how they see money. When it comes to money, if 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 you 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 and your brother, you give money to your brother. Oh, the way he will handle you about your own money, you will, you will never forget it. You will never forget. People don't fear God. People don't fear God. So it is it is left to individuals that God loves us. To, to do something about what is going on by alerting our minds, our spirit, alerting our minds and spirits. Hallelujah. Let me show. May the Lord God Almighty cover you, shield you. May the Lord God Almighty give you wisdom to handle situations. May the Spirit of God come upon you so that you will live a less. You will live awake all the time. So that you will become of yourself. You don't sleep while it is day. You won't sleep while it is day. You will open your eyes where? You will open your eyes where? And by doing so, you will see amazing things in your life, happening in your life. It's not any witchcraft. It's not any witchcraft. I'm not saying there are no witchcraft there. There are witches and wizards. But let me tell you, if you are right, if you will die right, if you will the way, if you will let your spirit stay alert, I'm telling you, you will be the overcomer in the name of Jesus Christ. You will be the overcomer in the name of Jesus Christ. You will never be defeated. You will never be defeated. Because the Lord Jesus you, 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 you follow was not defeated. So you will be defeated. And you, you will not be disgraced. You will not be disgraced. Okay? Let me tell you, God is good. Somebody say all the time, God is good. Yes. We are sometimes our own enemies, like our sister is saying. Nana Yere. Nana Yere. God bless you. I have another nanaire, and this this nanaire is different from the one I have. God bless you, nanaire, gift you. So, sisters and brothers, may the Lord bless you. Okay, stay in your faith. The same Isaiah is that Isaiah or Jeremiah? Jeremiah says something. Let's go to Jeremiah chapter one. Verse 19. Yeremia. Yeremia chapter 1, verse 19. Yeremia. Listen to this one. That's why I said you need to be alert. You need to be alert. Physically alert. Spiritually alert. Emotionally alert. Everything alert. Hallelujah. Because it says that Jeremiah 1 19 says they will fight against you. They will fight against you. 
but they shall not prevail against you. Can you believe that? Do you believe it? They will fight against you. They will fight against you. But bless them. If you are not alert, if you are sleeping, they will fight and they will sustain you. But uh, if you are still alive in spirit, body, and soul, they will fight you, but they will not prevail. They will not prevail. You will always look flesh and joy and joyful. They will look ashamed. They will always look ashamed. So, they will fight against you, but they shall not prevail against your host. They will fight against your wife, your, your children. They will fight against yourself. They will fight against your job. They will fight against your finances. They will fight against everything you believe. They will fight until even you commit suicide. But as you are in the Lord, they will not, they will not prevail against you because it's not you fighting. They're not fighting you. Physically, they will think they're fighting you, but spiritually, they are not fighting you. They are fighting the Almighty God, not you. God will handle them for you. If you trust God, if you believe in God, if all your confidence is in God and His Son, Jesus Christ, He will stand behind you. Listen, when you continue, he said, For I am with you. For I am with you, says the Lord. To deliver you. Do you believe that God is with you to deliver you to make situations better for you? God said, For I am with you. For I am with you. How many times do you want God to tell you that He is with you? Why do you want God to stand and say, I am with you for you to believe Him? What do you need more for you to believe that God is with you? Janet Abba, God bless you. God says, I am with you, so arise. I am with you, don't sit down. I am with you, don't sleep. I am with you, so don't give them chance. I am with you, so don't frown your face every morning. Rejoice. Rise up, because I am with you. Nana Sabi, also God bless you. So, this is what God wants you to hear. He said, number one, arise and shine. Arise means be awake, be alert. Let your spirit mind be open or your spirit eye be open. And then number two, he says that though they will fight, they will fight you. They will fight you. In every area, they will fight you. They will fight from the north. They will fight from the south. They will fight from the east. They will fight from the west. They will fight from everywhere. But they will not prevail. Why? Why? Because, because God, God says, says they will not prevail because I am, I am with you. you. God, God says, says I, am I am with you. Janet Abba, God says he is, he is with, with you. you. Listen, Listen. The, the, the interesting thing is that God is with single people, single or married people, God is with them. And God is with married couples. That is one thing that is good about God. He is not nepotism, like uh, he doesn't make selections of people he love them and what, and those he doesn't love them. He loves all alike, all the same. So he is with everyone. And he wants to bless everyone. Listen, sometimes in life people think that when you, when you have money, that is what is called blessing. Sister, you get to, you get to have a change of mind. It's not money alone that is a blessing. It is not money that is only blessing in life. It's part of it. Money is part of blessing. 
When you have money, it's good. But that is not only thing that when you get, you, you, you've done in life. Okay. Another thing that I want to tell you also is that it's not only marriage. That is, or that makes human being complete in life. Not only you have a husband or you have a wife, then everything is done. No, it's not true. Okay. okay, there are people who come to this world, they don't marry. They live happy life. They don't worry themselves. They don't strap them, themselves. There are people who came to this world, they are not, they, are, they never educated. They didn't go to school, but they are always joy. They have fun. Let me tell you, I have seen people in this country whose education is not good in America here, but they have, they have very good job. They are being paid more money than doctors and professors, I'm telling you. I have seen a girl, me, me, myself, even now, now, somebody is getting very good pay like that, whose education is not good. But they are paying the person more than a doctor will be paid. God just gave that person favor to go and work someplace. Some people say they will pay you this way. It's not it's not government people. It's not government. The government doesn't have money to pay people like that. But private people have money to pay somebody. It's, it's, it's that person's own money. The money is there and say I will pay you 400 a day. Can you believe somebody is being paid 400 a day, 300 a day, 200 and something over a day? Dollars. Dollars. Yeah. Over 300 dollars, 400 dollars, 500 dollars a day. You can't believe it. And I'm, I'm not talking about uh, somebody who has a PhD degree. I'm not talking about. I'm talking about somebody who, who doesn't even have, uh, who doesn't even have uh, a high school degree or diploma. That's what I'm talking about. So, when God says he will bless you, it's not about the man you marry. It's not about the house you come from. It's not about education. But I'm not saying education is not good. I'm not saying getting married is not good. But I'm trying to say that if you arise, God blesses you beyond your imagination. Are you ready for God's blessing beyond your imagination? Yes, I'm ready. Hallelujah. God can bless you beyond your imagination, beyond what you can think of. He can bless you so much. He can bless you so much. Hallelujah. There are some people, I'm telling you, everywhere they go, they, they, they are favored. They are favored. Just be positive. Just be positive in your thinking and arrive and let God be God. And God is ready to do something for you. I believe that God is able. I believe He can make things happen in people's lives. 